health nuts welcome back to my channel today to kind of bring in the spring spirit i decided to make you guys a super simple veggie spring salad or pasta i don't know why it looks like a salad though it kind of you know there's tons of veggies in it and instead of traditional pasta i'm actually lightening things up a bit and just spiralizing my zucchini i love spiralizing zucchini i think it's such a fun way to get extra veg in and just switch it out because i mean i love pasta but it is nice to get some extra veggies and just have fun with them especially like changing i feel like i don't know veggies taste different when you cut them differently so spirally spiralizing them is hard to say but super easy to eat so if you guys are interested in finding out how to make this delicious lightened up spring shrimp pasta then just keep watching for this recipe you will need asparagus that's been peeled with a vegetable peeler fresh peas you can also use frozen if that's what you have on hand onion lemon juice zucchini peeled raw shrimp, fresh parsley, garlic, unsalted butter, chili flakes, and some salt and pepper. Now, first thing you wanna do is spiralize your zucchini. You wanna make sure that you get like a medium-sized zucchini, chop the ends off so that way you can easily spiralize it, and I will link the exact spiralizer that I'm using down below in the info box. Every so often, I just kinda of like to take the zucchini and kinda of chop some pieces with my scissors or else you'll just get extremely long uh, zoodles that are a little bit harder to eat so that's just a quick tip that you can do and then this is what they look like when they're all spiralized and a large saucepan on medium to low heat you want to just melt your butter you can also use any oil for this then you want to throw in your chopped onion and give that a nice little saute for a couple minutes add in your minced garlic and your shrimp cook it for like one or two minutes and then add in some broth. I'm just using vegetable broth here to kind of get everything going. And then I'm squeezing in about half of a lemon. Season everything with your spices. And then throw in some minced fresh parsley for added color and flavor. Just saute your shrimp until they start to turn pink. Then you can throw in your peeled asparagus and fresh peas. Both of these ingredients are in season right now and super affordable, so definitely take advantage and buy them fresh. Then just keep cooking it on low to medium heat and just kind of toss everything together. You can add in a little bit more of that vegetable broth, pop the lid on and let it steam for a couple minutes. That way everything cooks really evenly. Lastly, add in your zoodles. I like to add these in last so that they really hold up their texture and they still have kind of some firmness to them when you bite into them. I don't like them too soggy. So I just toss everything together, season it with a little more fresh pepper and sea salt. Pop the lid on for a couple more minutes and then there you have it. Everything is nice and cooked. Even though this pasta dish is mainly vegetables, you still really get that noodle texture since the zucchini isn't as cooked as the asparagus. And there you have it, a delicious lunch or dinner option for the spring weather. And like I said, asparagus and peas are in season right now. Definitely take advantage. The flavors are amazing and I'm having a lot of fun playing around with them in different recipes. Don't forget the full written recipe will be over on my blog, healthnutnutrition.ca. A link will be down below. So that's how you make my super easy spring inspired shrimp veggie pasta. I hope you guys try it out. I have a huge bowl that I've been snacking on. This is actually for dinner tonight. And so this is actually two portions, but I just threw it all in one, one bowl. But I just love something about like peas and asparagus together in a dish are so good. And they're in season right now too. So like they're very affordable. I bought a huge pack at Costco of the asparagus and we've been eating asparagus almost every single day. So hope you guys try it out. If you recreate this pasta dish, be sure to send me a photo on social media and tag me at your health nut so I can see your wonderful food creations. I'm gonna take a bite of this. I love sauteing the zucchini, just a little bit like undercooked so it's still nice and crunchy. Oh my God, it's so good. So I hope you guys try this out. It is so flavorful and light and perfect for spring. And if you guys like this recipe and wanna see more delicious, healthy recipes, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I post three times a week now, which is crazy, but I love that you guys are loving all the new videos. I post Sunday recipes, Wellness Wednesdays, and vlogs on Friday. So I hope to see you there, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye! So good. I guess I've eaten this one time in dinner. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm, that crunch.